Let's go, boy. Yeah. Easy.
There we go. Yep. Okay. Easy, easy. Cheer up. Cheer up. I need you. Cheerful. I'm real cheerful, sir. Well, then try Hello. smiling. We are gonna be hey okay. No, sir. And enough with the sir. This ain't the army. We win our fights. <laughs> Bring me something soon if you can, That's Arthur. Good. Thank you. This should be some real good eating. Just make sure it goes into the pot and not your pocket. You'll be able to make something nice with that. Can't wait to taste this. Thank you, Arthur.
Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. Don't worry about it, Reverend. I made a fool of myself again. <laughs> We've all done that, Reverend. I'm bitterly ashamed. Really, I am. There she is. You gonna sit down instead of pacing about the place? How are you holding up? It's like a nightmare I can't wake up from. It will get better, Mrs. Adler. Okay, then. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Arthur. How are you? Good. Thanks again for taking Jack fishing. I've come up with some ideas for ways we could improve things around here if you want to take a look. People are going to be happy with that. I'll need you to go find me the right materials before I can make that. Ah, yes, that'll be much appreciated. Makes you feel a bit more like home. You all right there? There's a lot of pain. Morning to you. I'll you there, Arthur.
On your knees! Kind sirs, we will not take up a moment longer than we got to. Give over your money and your valuables to my compadre here, and we will be on our merry way. Please, please! No, 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 don't, don't hurt! We'll give you whatever we got. And all of it? All right, then. Let's kill these sons of bitches. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Curse those O'Driscolls. All right, boy. hungry here.
Hello, mister. Hey, buddy! We don't need more trouble from hey, you here. Hey, mister! Mister! I never learned your name. I never did. You're like a brother. But I didn't learn your name. And I said to myself, Mickey, you never learned that fella's name. Now, you'll never see him again. And you'll be sad. Like when your puppy passed. I just slept on it. What's your name, mister? I heard that. Arthur. Arthur? My uncle's name was Arthur. Uncle Arthur, we called him, on account of his name. It's a fine name. A strong name. Like a king. You could be my king, Mr. Arthur. Yes, you could. Okay, boy. raising days are behind you. So, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about or you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. We try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm a workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well, you was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way, well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. I already don't like how this is going. Store. Yep. Can you uh head in, pick up a sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Don't you wear yourself out now? Oh well, hello again. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Shouldn't be a problem. You wanna see what we've got? It's all in the catalog here. I'm gonna have to take this on credit. Uh well, no, wait, we ain't even discussed terms. Or I can take it in a way that ain't so polite. Okay, okay, fine. You can uh, pay me later.
Sure. Let's go. I'll be keeping my eye on you this time. <laughs> Don't test me again. Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. Ah, I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run in. I've had a run in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl... What was her name, Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. <laughs> up there. Get a proper view. This way, Arthur. So I'm thinking that the herd will make it to auction all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collected on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. That's them over there. The one now. Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch the sheep. Well, looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in close. He'll get the message. <laughs> yep, that spooked him all right. All right, let's go round them up. <laughs> Quick, before they all run off on us. Let's go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. You? Oh, day here, there, but not much. Most cowboys I know are dumb as trees. How hard could it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. They're pretty scattered. Let's get them all rounded up. Yeah. Easy, whoa. Move it. Yeah. Watch where you ride.
got them all. Let's head for town. You know what? Marston, why don't you leave the sheep to me? You ride Shank, keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to hurt. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. Back to Valentine is right around that mountain. Okay. Like I said, I'll handle this. Easy. Close her up, boys. There you go. Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seem better around here? I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you. For 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying. But we're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? Eighteen uh, percent. I thought we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. 
Thanks for all the help with this. <laughs> can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids no more. No, we never really was. Whoa. Not everything, but in the end, I don't believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. Compromises. Compromises. Well, I have never been a man for... Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Nepo. Where have you been? Orkin. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago, bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. What the hell? Vandalin! You don't know me, but you keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you! Get out here before I have these men killed! What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash! You start spinning a yarn, and when I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. You I got where I am by letting Scott Why not? you rob from me? Vandalin, you're done! Now get out here now! Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me. Nor do I want to be this Dutch Vanderlyn, whomever he may be. I am Archibald Smith.
Das geht jetzt auch wieder. Arthur, come on! What the hell are you doing? You make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Sure. We can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs> Morgan, don't All be right, trampling over down. everything. We keep heading east. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Well, that'd be nice. Join the commune. We stop when we find someplace sensible. Shake them that's following us and lie low. So, we moving? Yeah. This is lying low? It turned into a bunch of killers. I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Charles, come with me. We got work to do. Now, where have I heard that before? Okay, boy. Let's go. Again? We have to. Fast. 
We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Ah, uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. So, we're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to t uh, Hang on a second. I think that must be it up ahead, the old dried-up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Yeah. I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. I think I saw a camp up ahead. Let's go take a look. All right. Come on, boy. Look, here it is. A few tents, but the place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. Where is everybody? Maybe they heard us come. Be careful. I'm being careful. Someone's been here. Sure. Someone's still here. There ain't no one here now. I ain't so sure about that. It's okay. You can come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? They ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. There. Tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. What's going on with you? What do you mean? 
You were just gonna send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know ah. me as well as you think you do. Wait, just let me make sure this is right. Okay, looks like they go down this way. So, what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch yet. They picked the wrong man there. <laughs> we should have moved right then, if you ask me. Wait a second, just want to look closer here. Continues along the shore here. Now, I was saying. Bastards told me they killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Ah, that kid. It's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well, if it's John's idea, it must be a good one. Then what is it with you and him? Uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack... Look out! Careful. Think this is the right way? Give me a second. They carry on along this trail. So where was I? When Jack was real young. A long while. A year or more. He did? And we was family, you know? I guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Easy. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. Hold! Where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. This looks like our feather, Charles. Quick, cut him free and let's get out of here. Are you gonna cut the ropes? Vorsicht, Vorsicht! Das ist eine Falle, Vorsicht! Take cover! Three coming right at You get the hell away from him! Why the hell you drag us into this, Charles? They're all of them. Oh, they look like it. Look out. Right is coming in. Well, that's them dealt with. You get them untied, and I'll see what they've left behind for us. Schneiden Sie das Seil durch, bitte. I thought you wanted to get this over with, Arthur. Bitte, lass es mich gehen. Hier drüben. It's okay. Getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. What were you saying before? All right. 
Come on. I'll take you back to your family. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Also soll ich mitkommen? Ja. Yeah. Bringen Sie mich hin. The hell did you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, Money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. It, how did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Uh, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Dem Herrgott sei Dank. Schatz! Oh. Andreas! Oh. Andreas! Ich hab gedacht, du seist tot! Beinahe wäre es so gewesen. Meine Lieblinge, meine Herz allerliebst. Oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. alles klar. Vamos. Uh. Ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Ja! Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. Mrs. Adler. Good morning. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> um, it's funny. Us in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me? We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves. You know, a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of thick. Hey, 
Old girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good a long over. Gotcha. <laughs> Always green crushing and bubble burst with you. Come on, Hosea. Let's go fishing. All right, gentlemen. Let me show you how it's done. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. A curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Jose. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Where we don't have to hide. Eh, uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we have got to be discreet. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Whoa. Easy. Gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot. Bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. Hey, it's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool, but he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy! Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Stay with that train! Don't let them get away! Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. Come on, hurry! All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. So what are these fellas wanted for? Looks like the son of a bitch is going to make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No! Did I not say that? You said plenty. You all are a goddamn joke! Ah, joke. Ah. Idiot! Now get after the others, come on! The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. Get to the side of the train. Yeah. Come on, you must be able to get 
next to it. See the flat carriage? Head for that. Get us as close as you can. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. Watch out! He's throwing ah, bombs! Santa bastard! I didn't do nothing! Ah. Ah. Arrest me now! Let go! I think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just a barrel. Bring him out here. Deputy. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? You take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit, I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Yeah. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just... Ah, this ain't my trouble to have. Oh, dear, you are Christ. green, aren't you? You don't look tough. Careful. Almost hurt my feelings there. So you was just talking about something? Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Easy. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. 
We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Very little. Oh, good, they're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay, we're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Okay, this way. <gasps> hey, fellas. Hey. How you been, Keith? Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Now, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. On the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Gray's, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses, and falling out of rebel gold, and marrying cousins, or not marrying... Arthur, That's Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I could not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Uh, I'll need to relax someplace. Fair enough. It looks like it's you and me, old man.